so project for today somebody punched a couple of holes in the back of this toolbox so they could run some heater hoses from the engine through there and hang a heater under the dash don't know why you'd want to do that but they did it so what we did was just cut out this big section and then cut another piece of material laid it in there and melded the two of them together and uh, now we've got to grind all this excess whatever you want to call it it's supposed to be weld uh, and make it nice and smooth the good news is it's up under the dash so if we booger it up too bad it won't stand out we've got uh, a couple of other places down here in the battery box where there's some rust we're going to have to uh, put a couple of pieces in there as well not a fun job well over the weekend we got a little paint on the bulkhead painted it gray according to the books you read the early cars were all gray bulkheads so we made ours gray and uh, now what we've got to do is bolt it up to the floor pan here and uh, I think first what we got to do is get the steering column in place well we spent a little bit of time got the uh, bulkhead or firewall whatever you want to call it mounted into place got our new battery box lid and toolbox lid got to uh, get the uh, latches for them yet and uh, get them painted stuck the steering column in there we've got to get a little paint on that the steering wheel on the thing starting to look like something well the parts order in today sometimes you just can't make everything in the backyard you gotta go online and order some parts so we've got a nice box of stuff here and little bits and pieces <coughs> we'll see what's in here This, um, this stuff here is important. This is the trim, little chrome beading edge trim that goes around the edge of the dash. We didn't have that. A top piece and a bottom piece. This would be the top piece. More or less uh, preformed. Those two pieces are not cheap, by the way. Wow. All of that. And, uh, <laughs> we're down a big box down to a couple little boxes. So it goes sometimes. Put that aside might have in here we'll see oh, this is a, uh, a new glass for our tachometer that was broken and the green band that goes around the inside of the tachometer to uh, 
make it light up with a green tint. And then in this bag of a thousand pieces, we have all kinds of things. We've got this plate that goes around the uh, boot on the brake pedal that we misordered the last time. This is a spring kit for the brake pedal, clutch pedal. These little tabs go on top of the battery box and the toolbox to lock the lid down. The nice thing about this place is they have all these little bolt kits already put together. This is an uh, engine motor mount to bracket fastener set. And you wouldn't think it would be that complicated, but because they're British standard bolts, uh, it's not like you can run down to the hardware store and get what you need. We've got some O-rings that go around the tachometer when it go in the speedo when it goes in the dash. This set of bolts fastens the bell housing to the block so we can bolt the transmission engine together. Got some rivets there. I assume those are for the brackets on the uh, toolbox and battery box. These little tabs, not much there, $16 a piece. And I probably could have made something, but at the end of the day, probably spend more than $16 making them. So these little screws and nails hold that chrome beading around the edge of the dash. Like I said, it's nice they have these little kits all put together. Uh, this is an O-ring with a tack and speedo lens to the instrument. I'm not sure why it's curled up and not a one-piece gasket, but oh well. And um, there's another one for the one for the tack and one for the speedo. Got some little tiny screws in there. Oh, you can see those are not, and those hold the face of the tack to the instrument itself. Those were missing. And got some rubber bushings there, rubber washers, and then a stud kit for the for the tachometer. And that's our bag of parts. That, ladies and gentlemen, is $500 worth of parts for this project. Doesn't seem like a lot, but um, fun is expensive.